Oh, there we go. Dobre vecher, kak la, moi pedruga i pedrug. Anyway, tovarich, kak la, how are you? All right, hey, I'm out here today. I uh, got a question given to me uh, through uh, one of my watchers out here on my YouTube channel regarding um, what cuts better. Apparently there was a little internet argument. Um, does a dull blade or blunted blade cut just as well as a sharp blade through clay? And the argument was that a blunted blade will cut just as well. Well, I just so happen to have two of the exact same model blades, one sharp, one dull, to be able to go ahead and to, let's put, see if this is a myth or to actually work. So I'm gonna show you that both blades and how sharp they are or dull. This is blade number one. And you see it's sharp. Blade number two. Notice the difference in cut, cut. All right, so I'm gonna set up a 25 pound block of clay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make cuts. And I'm gonna, we're gonna cut each one and then we're gonna go ahead and look at it and look at the differences in the cut. Again, back to my second book, guys, out there on Russian Saber, Volume 2. It spells out very specifically, uh, you know, the scientific method that was used by the Russian Imperial military for studying the cuts. You really want to read that to understand the finer points, but I'm going to hit the basics. All right, now to the testing. All right, folks, here it is. 25 pound block of clay, ready to be cut with a sword. It's gonna use both swords. I'm gonna use the sharp one first. We're gonna look at it carefully. And we're gonna use the dull one. Okay, test number one, Cult of Athena, sharpened blade. Uh, this is sharpen, sharpened by R.J. McKinnon with South Coast Swords. I want you to look, notice the cut. Okay, look at how clean it is on the leading edge. And you can see we're a little bit of peel off. And we're gonna look at that here in a sec. Real Up important close. note here, see how clean this is? There's no indent. Notice it's clean, it's cut like lunch meat. I turn this over. I want you to look how clean this is. Now let's look at the back. If you notice, it has what? Very little of what you call an escarpment. In other words, you have the leading edge here. We have the trailing edge here. Nice diagonal cut. And you notice it's nice and clean. And you can see right here, a little bit of drag at the end, okay? But other than that, it's a very clean, nice looking cut. All right, folks, here we are, second cut. Done, nice dull butter knife. Nice blunted knife, should say blunted blade, Cult of Athena, same exact model. So let's see if this goes ahead and cuts any better than the last one. Because according to the internet argument, a blunt one will cut through clay just as well as a sharp one. Well, it's stuck. Let's try it again. All right, we're gonna try this now again. Second cut, dull blade, called the Bathina, same model as the, as the first blade. First attempt, it stuck. Cut part way through and just stuck itself. So yeah, it battered part way through. Let's see if we can try it again.
Okay, so what did we see? It made it through, but let's look at it closer. All right, now, if you notice the cut, there's a huge difference in it, especially if you look right here along this edge and you can see how it rolls in, okay? And then you notice it's dragging through here and look at the escarpment coming off, okay? So what does this really tell you? Yes, you can force a dull blade through clay, but when you look at the quality versus the amount of energy it takes to do, a sharp blade eats a dull blade through clay every time. Thanks for watching.